Lieutenant Lee takes charge of a machine gun platoon, but has a unique obstacle to overcome. Few white soldiers have ever met a Chinese man, never mind a Chinese Marine. I came from a reserve outfit and had a choice of a rifle company, or machine guns, or mortars. And so I said, Lieutenant Lee, he's got to be a big old good-natured Irishman, so we'll do machine guns. I saw Lieutenant Lee, and he looked different to me because I was looking for a Caucasian officer, and here I've got a Chinese officer. That was a shock. I had never seen a Chinese American Marine. I heard him referred to very derogatory a number of times. I heard him mentioned as our Chinese laundryman. I uh, heard him referred to as the Chinaman. The Chinaman, because there's the only one there. But the young Marine isn't concerned about cultural milestones. He wants to earn respect. And from the very outset, the big thing was to establish uh, trust and confidence in the men. I felt that you don't do that being a s smiley, nice guy. I called him Lee because I didn't know his first name. I said, hey, Lee, I'm Joe Owen. And when he stiffened up and he said, uh, I am Lieutenant Lee. Uh, it took me aback slightly. He said, then you may call me Lieutenant Lee or Mr. Lee. But uh, never mind this crap about calling me by my last name. You show respect to my rank. Jeez, that, was, that took me aback. I had uh, never run into anybody like that. And nobody thought that he wouldn't kill Chinese because he was, he was a Marine. He, that was what he was there for. And it was obvious that's what he was doing. His troops were gaining respect for him as a Marine officer not as someone unique, as a Marine officer. I saw a silver bar on his collar, and at that time, I didn't care what color he was. I was a Marine, uh, he was a Marine officer, and I have told him many times, uh, uh, thank God that we had him. <laughs> <laughs> 